If you had $150,000 to drop on a vacation, where would you go? A first class trip to Paris? A beachside resort in Fiji? Well, it turns out that rich people these days are going to South Sudan. This is a real travel company offering a no frills and decidedly minimalist trip to a country that has been ravaged by war because nothing screams luxury like sleeping on a stretcher. So what is this trip and why is it so expensive? To answer this, we need a bit of a history lesson. Fresh off of the heels of a civil war that killed 400,000 people, South Sudan is still struggling with very high levels of violence. But much like a celebrity emerging from a highly publicized messy divorce, South Sudan wants you to know that everything is fine. Really. Take it from the country's president and winner of the ultimate cowboy showdown, Saul Vakir, who is definitely not wetting himself. Now, I could talk about how six journalists were detained because of that video, but let's not ignore what's really newsworthy here. This man's sheer confidence. I mean, you can just see when he looked down, that is the most confident a person could be while peeing their pants. And confidence is key for governing a country like South Sudan. With a GDP per capita that is less than a Walmart e-scooter, the government still has lots of work to do. Luckily, it's thought of a genius plan for its economy that no other country has ever thought of before. These oil fields should be the major source of South Sudan's revenue. No, 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 the other genius plan. One, two, three. Ah, uh, yes, tourism, the foolproof way for any country with a level four travel advisory from the State Department to turn its economy around. But despite all the tourism hype, there aren't any hotels or even roads to host tourists at these parks. Park rangers haven't been paid a salary in over nine months. And as for animals, well, the rangers are completely outgunned by local poachers. You see, there's pretty much no control over the fighting between local tribes in South Sudan. A UN commission reported that, quote, the children all have guns. It's like Animal Kingdom on the hottest day of the year, but with AK-47 armed kindergartners and no public infrastructure. In other words, a scene that should only belong in a Ron DeSantis dream. So South Sudan's government really wants you to visit, but they don't have any infrastructure like roads to support tourists. Unless those tourists get around by helicopter. Luckily, that's exactly the plan. The South Sudanese government is working with a UK-based tour company called Journeys by Design, which offers a $150,000 week-long tour of the country, traveling around by, you guessed it, a helicopter. Will Jones, the company's Chief Exploration Officer, or CEO, described it as a high-end trip for, quote, high-risk, audiences. For the slim price of a Porsche coupe, guests will be provided an elegant and beautiful mosquito net to sleep in. And if you're not scared of a stray bullet in your designer bug mesh, attractions of the trip might include fighting between tribes, attacks by gunmen in the area, and getting shot at while flying. Of course, to facilitate such adventures, trip attendees must pay a mandatory $15,000 donation to African parks, an NGO managing national parks across the continent. An NGO whose former president was Prince Harry and may have been wrapped up in some minor controversy. Torture. One ranger who worked in a park for five years admitted to tying up suspects and beating them using a horrific torture technique called the swing, a technique that apparently David Dobrik learned from. Now, I'm not saying that African parks is colonialism, but the combination of torture allegations, being led by a prince, and the business model of obtaining complete managerial autonomy over 13% of a country's land is, uh, something. And really, are you that surprised by a connection between the royal family and a British company that seems to have less African people on their team than in the background of their photos? With more connections to the UK than rugby, the pioneers traversing South Sudan's airscape will benefit the country's economy tremendously. That is, if they survive the trip. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please consider subscribing. We're a small but growing community and any support is appreciated.